it's me and i'm back with another video i know you lot have been waiting so long and i'm so happy that you've been patient with me to make a video obviously some people have been commenting post a video post a video i will and i have i have been planning a lot of videos up to come and i think you all are gonna love it and also guys we're almost at a thousand subscribers so if you could please subscribe right now if you haven't already it would mean the world anyway guys enjoy the video hey everyone welcome back to another video it is me and i'm back with another video yeah i am super excited to do this video guys because this is the best video i think everyone is gonna say we have a new visitor that is gonna be part of our stables forever like forever so you guys are gonna see this somebody in every single video maybe depending but let's just go meet them so this lovely lady over here is called nora she is the stable manager who works with horses and she has a little surprise for me hey there crystal hope you're excited for this big moment remember she is a rescue horse and you're the first owner she's going to so you must be patient take your time training her yes that's right guys i have got a new horse but not just any horse it is a rescue horse that hasn't actually had an owner oh my god look at the color look at the coat oh my god she's stunning i love her so much she is an obian obion i can't say it dutch and she is absolutely stunning oh my god her head's so cute the way she looked at me the coat is amazing she's almost got like a brown kind of coat with a white patch it's amazing what do you think absolutely love her she's brilliant i haven't even like try to bomb with her or anything she just looks stunning and i'm taking her right now we're gonna get her nice and tacked up ready to go because we're gonna take a little ride around in the big school just to see how i feel on her and how she feels in the school because apparently she's never been owned by someone so this is new to her she obviously she's been ridden before with the previous rescue owners just looking after her until someone wants to buy her but yeah that's about it i'm only gonna give her a just a light saddle and stuff like that because i don't want her to feel too stressed out on her first walk and stuff like that and trotting or whatever but i feel like i'm gonna go with like a white saddle pad that looks amazing i mounted her up because obviously she's a bit lower down to the ground i can actually mount her from the floor which normally i can't do with my other horses so i love it so if i ever fall off or anything it's so much easier to get back on um you look amazing up there thank you so much nora is gonna stay with me just to watch how the horse does and how i do just to see if there's anything that i could improve or something that she might be injured or something like that just basically just to see how we both get on we are now gonna head over there and yeah get started so she's just told me to walk around and let her kind of stretch her neck out so she's not so tense and also to keep a loose rein which i definitely will because i don't want her to feel too under control yeah i want her to be able to feel herself the movement the sand gravel even um so yeah i just want her to feel comfortable on the way around i did give her a few pats just so she could know that that's a good thing that she's listening to me i did try turning in and out just to see how she felt um, and how she responded and she actually did really well so i gave her a nice big pat after that because she did amazing with that i wasn't actually expecting her to like respond like that if she's a rescue horse but um yeah she did amazing nora told me to do a slow trot and for some reason i didn't actually feel that scared or like i wasn't even nervous at all i was just like yeah let's do it um i actually normally with all my other horses i get really nervous but trotting i was fine with her i don't know why maybe i was just really comfortable with this horse she responded so well she listened so well her posture is amazing in her neck and legs she's very powerful so i know if i get thrown off by her i'm probably going to be very injured um but that's hopefully not gonna happen i don't know why i said hopefully i mean hopefully not gonna happen anytime soon but yeah i just felt really comfortable on her i know she's quite strong but i knew that i was safe with her which actually is the first time i've had with a horse we started doing some positioning for sitting trot and she was a bit bouncy but i was able to stay in the saddle saddle <laughs> saddle um but yeah she was a bit bouncy but it's fine it's obviously her first time doing this sitting blah, 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 sitting trot which is fine um so we continued doing it and then we did sit and trot again she started turning um and kind of 
going the wrong way so I had to kind of go against the way she wanted to turn and turn her face the other way um but yeah apart from that she did really well can we just say her face is adorable <laughs> I absolutely love it she started getting confused at this point and she ended up rearing but it's like obviously it's her first time she started freaking out and then she was like this is the only way to solve it by rearing uh luckily I stayed on I gave her a pat because obviously it's good to show her emotion and how she's feeling. So I kind of just stood for a bit and then continued again. I went over to Nora and just to see what we're going to do next because she obviously is getting bored or she's just getting confused with the walking now. Like, why are we just walking? Stuff like that and trotting and stuff like that. Even she's looking at her. Nora was just telling me how good I looked on her and stuff like that, which absolutely made me smile. Like, I feel like my smile went all the way up to my eyebrows because my face was so tense after <laughs> um she said give her a great big part and stuff like that and just give her some love and kind of say well done and stuff like that which i did obviously nora was just telling me what she likes and doesn't like so apparently she likes hacks because obviously her rescue has told us that she loves hacks um because obviously they have to try everything with the horse to see what they're capable and not capable of but obviously if she's been in an abused home, if she's been tortured or something like that, then obviously she might feel different ways. Apparently she gets spooked by pole work, which is honestly understandable. Most of my horses are scared of pole work, but now they're used to it. So it's just building that confidence again. This absolutely baffled me because my horses love like their horse, like hay and like their wet food and stuff like that. But she is picky. I've never met a horse that is picky with food. Apparently, she loves dry ho horse. <laughs> she loves dry horse food. Like she does, she can't eat like wet food or anything. She she can eat like hay. We were just laughing and joking because she was like saying, "I know some of your horses like a bit of water mixed in," but she is picky. So this is the first horse, the first horse I've ever met who's very picky. Sorry, I literally can't get my words out today. She's a snack breaker. So she likes to stop in the middle of a hack and eat grass, which is quite funny because most of my horses do that, but some of them don't. Um, but yeah, she did say we can go on one now, which obviously, knowing me, I love hacks. So obviously, um, and plus we can see what she's like on hacks as well. So this rescue horse actually doesn't have a name. So if you do have a name for her, please let me know. I'm thinking Milkshake at the moment. I don't know, but Milkshake is the one name that I'm thinking of. But if you guys do have any, like, cute horse girl names, please let me know. Unfortunately, Nora couldn't come on the hat because she had to go. Obviously, people want to get horses as well. So she has to sell them to them. So obviously, she's not going to be on the hack. But I would probably wanted her to be there so she can see how we do just in case something happens. Because obviously, she's a new horse. Um, but at the same time, I would prefer, probably prefer to be on my own just to kind of bond with the horse more. Because I feel like when someone's watching you, you're a bit like, oh God. But when you're on your own, you kind of kind of speak to the horse as well and you're coming along. You said any issues, email me. Will do. There's not going to be any. Trust me. I will get this horse. Amazing. I've got my high vis now. I'm all ready. And she looks a bit scared, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. Now we're like more outside. There's more sun. You can actually see the print more clearly. Like look at it it looks absolutely stunning i haven't ever seen a horse like this and like the tail as well it's like black white black white like i've never seen a horse like that we practiced some sit and trot which actually went really well if you can see i actually stayed in the saddle more better than i did in the school and she was less bouncy as well so i was happy with that i gave her loads of pats and i was just basically talking to her the whole time um <laughs> it was just really funny um but can we just appreciate where we live like the stables, yeah, is amazing, but the view, the water, everything. I don't know why I said water like that, but, you know, it just looks amazing. We got back to the stables. I put her in a stall and I put actually a blanket on her. Here is really funny because she looks really mad because obviously there's no food in the bowl. So it looks like I've teased her, but obviously I haven't. Um, she looks really mad at me here. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go get her some food now before she starts throwing a tantrum. It feels so weird going up just to get dry food because normally my horses like to have a bit of water in it. So I might try a bit of water and just see how she does, but only a little bit. I don't know how much water she's on about, like how picky she is, but I'll put a little bit, like a t the tiniest bit you could ever see. So we could try this tiny little bit.
Well, I could tell she was hungry because she ate that in literally seconds. After she finished her food, I didn't really like the thought of her being in the stool, just just laying there because I don't know how she's going to feel. So I put her in the paddock, letting her just stretch out, run around, whatever she wants to do. She really liked the little hut, which was really cute. Like, look at her. She's just... She just laid down as soon as I stopped leading her. It was so cute. I made sure she had everything she needed, like hay, water, but she was all set. I'm just letting her chill because she looks so comfy. <laughs> that is the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment and share and make sure to subscribe. Get us to a thousand subscribers. If you do like the name Milkshake, please let me know in the comments. If you have any other names, please let me know. Bye, guys.